Hi. Here we have a related rates problem. In the interest of time, I've already drawn out the picture. What you want to do with related rates problem is always draw a picture and see if there's an equation in that picture that you've seen before. And we use that equation to solve the problem. Now, the problem says the dog is 80 feet away from the tree and the tree is 60 feet high. So what we can do is put the tree at the origin of the x, y axis, right? And the ground that the dog is, is walking on is the x axis, right? So the y axis is pointing straight up where the tree is. We're assuming the tree is perfectly straight and we're assuming the ground is perfectly straight and the dog is walking towards the tree. Uh, the problem also advises don't worry about the height of the dog, just where the dog is at. So here we have these things and we have an X value, a Y value and an H value. And what we want to do is relate three. We've seen the Pythagorean theorem before, which is X squared plus Y squared equals H squared. We'll just call this the hypotenuse, right? Is the distance from the dog to the top of the tree. Okay. This is a perfect place to start. May not work, but let's work with it, right? Related race problems are nothing more than implicit differentiation with respect to a new variable, which is time, right? Before we did implicit differentiation with respect to x, and we appended the dy dx in the appropriate places. Here, we're just introducing a whole new variable called time, which is t, right? And what we're doing is we're taking the derivative of the, everything in this equation with respect to time. So here we have 2x, which is the derivative of x squared, with respect to time. So x changes over a period of time, right? Also, we have 2y, how y changes with respect to time. And then we have equals 2h, how this hypotenuse changes with respect to time, right? And what we're doing is we're trying to figure out if this works. Well, we're given a certain things, right? We're given X is 80, we're given Y is 60. So let's start and we'll plug these values in, right? Two times 80 feet, and we'll leave the units out for now, just for simplicity's sake. We have two times 80 feet, and we're told that the dog is walking toward the tree at five miles per hour, okay? So we know that the dog is walking in the negative direction five miles per hour, right? Now we have 2y, y is 60, right? And dy dt, well, we're assuming that the tree's not growing, right? So this tree, the top of the tree is not moving at all. And what we're trying to do is figure out, well, how the hypotenuse is changing, okay? So we have 2h, I've done the equation here for you before, right? This is a three, four, five triangle, but if you want to use the Pythagorean theorem, you can figure out at this point, H is equal to 100. So that's what we have, 100 feet, right? And DH, DT, or the change in the hypotenuse, or how far the dog is from the top of the tree, is what we're trying to solve for. So what this comes out to being, this is minus 800, plus zero equals 200 dh dt. We divide both sides by 200. We get minus four equals dh over dt, right? And what we're trying to do is trying to make, does that, we're trying to see, does that make sense given the equation? Okay, so if the dog is moving to the left at five miles per hour, he's not moving up and down, well, it should, it does kind of make sense that the dog is moving closer to the top of the tree at minus four miles per hour, which makes sense, right? If he's moving this way, this is going to get shorter too, minus four miles per hour. And that's how you solve a problem. It's all about just drawing the picture, seeing what kind of equation might make help make sense in helping you solve the problem. And taking the derivative with respect to this new variable time. If you have any questions, just contact me on WhatsApp and I can clarify this further. Have a nice day.